Well, Bo, how are you? Good morning, Javi. How are you? How are you, Lauren? Hi, Lauren. How are you? This so, is this is the this is like history in the making. It is. This we is are the doing virtual launch program exactly. for Lauren. So tell us why you're in this little screen and not sitting here, Lauren. Well, unfortunately, we had an ice storm in Buffalo, which led to a hefty snowstorm. So I'm still here in Buffalo, but I'm heading out on Wednesday. No, you're still you're here with no, us. No, you're <laughs> here with us in Del Mar. You're in San Diego. Look at the beautiful yeah. beach. Look at this. On the, Look. On here on the right. The waves are crashing about a <laughs> hundred meters off to our uh, to our right. We ha we have about se seventy degrees. Uh, no yeah. humidity. No clouds. It's Thirty-four here. Oh, you're half half oh. half the oh, way. Yeah. Well, you're just not trying hard enough, are you? <laughs> I'm living in the wrong city. Is the problem? No, that's the problem. Okay, so. But anyway, we're here to talk about the Toyota Avalon. The what is it? The fifth generation, right? Yeah. Yeah, Gen I like 5. That better stack. That's really nice. You like this, huh? Yeah, very nice, very high tech. It very is. high tech, very simple also. Like, there's not that many buttons. I mean, there's. Proceed about half of a mile. And we have Two navigation. Good morning, Good morning Gertrude. Gertrude. It's Gertrude. Big center screen. Thank God, no more slider for the volume. That would have been a major no Exactly, now. here it is. Oh, it's, it's got a regular knob for it, all piano, Yay. all piano black. All of, the, all of the trim up here, if you get into the higher grades, uh, you get out of uh, like aluminum. You could go to aluminum and stuff and, and uh, the hydroponic. Uh... Hydroponic? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the hybrid. Yeah. No, 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 not hybrid. No, I'm talking about you know when they print when they print when they print plastic to make it look like. Oh, wood. okay. We give texture to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But you can get real wood. So yeah, the, you, from Yam, Yamaha, the piano maker. Yeah. So or the, the instrument, so it's, it's uh, from a hydroponic instrument maker, piano. Yeah. So anyway. Hydro for me? Is that the word you were seeking? Yeah, hydroponic. In a quarter I had it right. of a mile, right turn onto Coast Boulevard. Oh, Hello, Gertrude. Lauren, um, as you know, the Avalon is like in a in a segment that is pretty much dying, right? Like the large. Well, sedan. that's a terrible pun. It is. I mean, because it's it's been hitting at customers 65 plus. <laughs> yeah. So when you say it's it's a demo, like, it's dying. Nice Who doesn't want a nice ride? Yeah. But anyway, I mean, like as we know, there's more SUVs, more crossovers, but they're still like that. What did they say? They the the the, the Camry outsold the Rav4. Rav4. Last month. So yeah. I mean, who who is right? Who's wrong? I don't know. Well, remember the Camry also is a vehicle they sell to all the taxi cab companies. Yeah, so that's, that would cause Camry to be a high-selling vehicle. That's it's a, all about, as Paul and I would say, the money and who cares where it comes exactly. from. Exactly, yeah, they're if, selling cars. <laughs> if, you're, if you're moving steel, you're moving steel. Yeah. So, right. next right at the next stop sign. Thank you, Gary. And then, left turn. Thank you. So, they're aiming to obviously lower that age of the medium buyers from 64 to as low next as they can go, I guess. At the next it's stop sign. Because it's about storage, so as I've said, multiple times on television so you've got the same exact thing as an Avalon as you do that same version of an SUV so what are you gaining like, as far as storage and seating capacity to less about 16 yeah. and a half about 16 and a half cubic feet of, of uh, storage in the back and right. and they have repositioned the battery pack for the hybrids uh, so that it, it's the same on both now. They weren't stealing trunk space mm -hmm. in order to put batteries in there. They relocated them to underneath the. Uh, I'm, it's like I'm looking at you. Like <laughs> you can look at me right here. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sorry. There you are. Uh, yeah. But they repositioned the batteries so that uh, now it's underneath the back seat and it doesn't cost you trunk space in the back of the car. Absolutely. I know. What's the hybrid take rate anyhow? Uh, no. As you know, they never give you numbers, but uh, uh, there's but, a reason. Uh, yeah, there's a reason. of course. So they only have the V6 and the hybrid, no four cylinder or anything else. It's just like very little, little options also. In half of a mile, right turn onto Via de la Valle. We know it has navigation again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, I think I think there's. Why is it always a woman? Why can't it be some sexy guy? With I, some think, I think I think you can. You, can you, you the, yeah, I you can do it. A la derecha, can, por favor. And, yeah, and I hear I can say the, 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 the name of the streets right because it's like Camino del Valle. <laughs> 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 I 
I was I was listening to it yesterday when we were out yesterday, and I was listening to the Navi system just butchering the Spanish. Exactly, and and, and I, I couldn't help but laugh about it. So anyway, go back back to the car. The, the, what they're trying to. The question to, on the car is: Is it a plug-in hybrid in order no. to meet the California emission standards, or no. is it just a hybrid? No, no, no. regular hybrid. Yeah. You know, I, and you, you were asking. You asked about take That's rate wrong. on that. A lot of people don't understand what a tiny slice of the big pie is there. For instance, on on Camry, it's only, a, uh, I think, 6% is hybrid in Camry, and 6% uh, was the V6 in Camry. So, so you had that big, giant slice of the pie in the center that's on the four-cylinder cars that they sell. I, I would right. suspect that it's going to be about the same here. I would guess about five or six percent. Well, it's hard to tell. I mean, if there's a tax credit involved and the people that are buying the four-cylinders are most likely the people that are saying, I'd love an Avalon. I can't afford an Avalon in a V6, but I can get one in a four-cylinder and get better fuel economy and still have that yeah, but they've, they've never they've never made a four cylinder. Proceed about one mile to the Adelaide. No, but some other manufacturers have uh, four cylinders in these bigger cars now. Yeah, okay, well, I with see the hybrid what you're there, but Toyota's right. never made a four in the Avalon. Yeah, the car is like much bigger, wider, like bolder design. Especially in this is the touring, right? The touring, yes. which is like that's where they're trying to aim for a much younger demographic for this car. Really ni nice they, they materials. Wouldn't they wouldn't commit to the number, but yeah. they're just saying we're anything lower, sixty-four. They're not going to commit to anything. Yeah, yeah and, the, and the marketing guy said he was. The marketing guy said he was thirty-three, and he was going to be skewing you know, all of the demos down. Yeah, he's buying one, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just be honest. When General Motors is shutting down a plant that makes the Chevy Cruze, one of their best-selling sedans, and they're laying off fifteen hundred people, and because they're going to focus more on SUVs. That's a pretty obvious thing. In half of a mile, keep left onto the Adola Valle. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what else, but, Paul. What else uh, we want to talk about the car? Well, just, just one more thing. Hey, you know, I was going to tell you about that. Because right over here on my side, on the passenger side, there is power lumbar. There you go, Lauren. <laughs> woo -woo! <laughs> there's, there's no lumbar in the middle seat in the front, <laughs> Lauren, for you. <laughs> But it is, a, but it is over here. Big uh, you know. Well, so, I think so. You got that, and, and also on on the hybrid, it used to be a two thousand dollar option on the car. Now it's only going to be uh, one thousand. And what that does to the pricing is that now you could conceivably buy a nineteen for a thousand dollars for less than what you would pay for an eighteen. I always if, feel I always feel bad for the buyer of the previous car when they announced, oh now it's gonna be cheaper and you're gonna get more. Yeah. Where's my refund? Yeah. Exactly so, how I feel. But but lower the price. Well, I feel like I get screwed. Yeah, but to, but that's retail. So you know that they're gonna put a big basket full of money yeah. on the hood of the car just to move those things. Absolutely. So, so if you're out there uh, looking to save some bucks, you'd still be able to go ahead and find an 18 Avalon and look for some highly incentivized prices on them. Right. Okay. Everybody's incentivizing. Yesterday, even Cadillac is getting $10,000 to keep their keep customers to help. by Lincolns because they are better. Okay. So you're watching every single segment, whether it's large SUVs, SUV city is incentivizing because we all want to make that $17 million number again. Proceed about yeah. one mile to yeah. El Camino. Javi, Javi and I were talking about it. I had an XTS Cadillac last week when I was driving, and we were saying, you know what, that car is really getting to be pretty long in the tooth right now. I mean, that's got to be, what do we guess, like five years old now? Yeah, at least. And, yeah. Um, which, which in car years is an eternity. So, yeah. uh, so for them to, there are things that are not on that car. That uh, that need to be. So Lauren, you can you can I don't know you can see it now, but I'm gonna turn this camera up because we have one there, and so the audience can see it here. We're gonna do a little panning of it. This is the touring, so the sporting one. Tail lights and headlights look great. LEDs and all that. So the car really looks great. Yeah. I can see that. From what I can see, it looks great. So I mean, overall, how can you go wrong on that one? It's about luxury. It's about technology. It's about safety. It's about comfort. And I'm assuming there's a killer audio system as well. Oh, 
JBL. Yeah, yeah, big JBL system that they put on here, which uh, is just going to be terrific. And as soon as we hang up with you, we're going to um, crank it out. We're going to be <laughs> kick, kicking out the jams in here. Yeah. So you know, I, I put on the Tommy Dorsey. Another point. Another point that I always uh, try to make is like this is like a non-luxury car, but if you compare it to a Lexus from uh, five years ago, they're pretty similar. Now yeah. that gap is like this big. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Things have changed and cars have gotten bigger too. It's kind of odd. I mean, no matter what brand you're looking at, you're looking at the oldest sedans that keep getting bigger again. Remember they were shrinking the luxury sedans and now they're growing again. Exactly. Well, yeah. yeah, and the other thing too is that with the, the TNG, yeah, you've got. Uh, Platform. platform that Toyota has right now. A lot of cars are coming off of the same platform. Uh, their global basis for what they built, and this car is—it's it's like 1959 in uh, Detroit right. for everything coming out now. Longer, lower, yeah. wider. Yeah. And they've done in that. Half the, of a mile, the lines right on the back of the car are a lot El more aggressive Leo. than they ever have. It's—it's uh, it's a great looking car. Yeah. So Lauren. Um, Yes. yes. I think this was a successful uh, first ever remote car review from Buffalo, from both coasts. Huh? We should definitely tag that. <laughs> yeah, Excellent. So. Now, could you do us one more thing? Are, are, is uh, Holly uh, available or who's who's nibbling uh, around your legs while we're... Okay, Zoe is here. We got to put Zoe into yeah, the okay, camera so that we could have the first remote. There with, you go. Next with time. a dog. The next it's a, there it is. Hi there. Excellent. Well, Jack and Darby. Uh, Jack and Darby are terribly uh, jealous that Zoe got to do that first. <laughs> so too bad. Too bad you couldn't be here in person, but thanks to technology. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I've arrived at the airport for the Evalon drive with two Yorkshire Terriers. Can I be accommodated? <laughs> for support, moral support. Okay, yeah. Lauren. All right. See All you right, next guys. time. Adios. 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 San. Adios. Next turn left on San Dieguito Road. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>